Hello students, a very warm welcome to Rehant Online Academy. And in this session, we are going to discuss that how to write a C program to check whether a given number is palindrome or not, right? So I hope you all know the meaning of palindrome, right? If you are going to read it either from left or if you are going to read any string either from right, from both sides, if the characters are same at the same sequence in the same place, that is called as a palindrome. If we talk about palindrome number, if we talk about palindrome number, and let's the number is one, two, three, two, one. So whether it's you, if you are going to read it from left, it's one, two, three, two, one, or you are going to read from right onwards, one, two, three, two, one, it's same. That is why we can conclude that it's palindrome. It's palindrome. But what if our number is like one, two, four, five, six? If you are going to read it from left, it's one, two, four, five, six. If you are going to read it from right hand side, it's six, five, four, two, one, right? So it's not a palindrome. It's not a palindrome. Now, in the sense of uh, characters, letters, all side obvious. Let's say the string is A, B, B, A. Whether you're going to uh, read it from left onwards or right onwards, the sequence of characters remains same. A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. But if A, B, C, D, it's not a palindrome, but it's a palindrome, right? So we need to develop a logic so that our C program compiler can recognize whether the entered number or the whether num entered uh, uh, letters, entered uh, uh, words are palindrome or not. So the thing is that the main logic that's going to work like that, uh, uh, we, going, we are need to put the original letters or let's say original number in one variable, let's say variable one, and we need to reverse it. We need to reverse, we need to reverse the original number. And let's say we are going to store it in variable two. And thereafter, we are going to compare that whether variable one and variable two are equal or not. If they are equal, it means that palindrome. If they are not equal, it means that they are not palindrome. So if you are going to read the logic, it's uh, work like that. I am going to scratch it. Uh, I am going to explain it from very scratch, right? Here you can simply see uh, hash include studio.h. There are int main. There are some integer type variables taken and reversed whose initial value is zero, remainder, and original. Okay. Now our main program is starting. First of all, user is going to get a message that enter an integer. Whatever user is going to enter, that is going to store in the variable n, which we have declared here. As we have declared variable n is of integer type. So that variable is going to store in integer format at the address of n, at the address of variable n. So let's say user have entered 1001. So that is going to be stored at the address of n. Now we are already having one more variable with the name original, just obviously for the storing original value. So original is assigned the value of n. So what is the value of n right now? Let's say user have entered 1001. That is going to be stored in the original. Just after this, now, this is the logic to reverse the integer and we are going to store that uh, result in the, in the variable reversed. Now, what we are checking? While n does not equal to zero, it means that if user doesn't have entered anything, it means that n is zero. But if user have entered something, it means that n does not equal to zero. So when this while loop is going to be true, we are going to, we are going to work on these steps. So let me explain you these steps. Let me explain you these steps very, very interestingly so that uh, you can uh, work on that and you can uh, understand it betterly. So basically our logic is this and uh, using this logic, the first is remainder equals to n modulus 10. So let's say user have entered one to one. Let's say user have entered one to one. So initially let's say step one, step two and it's step three. So n modulus 10, 121, right now the value of n is 121. Right now the value of n is 121. We are assuming that it is entered by user. 
So one twenty one modulus ten. What would be the answer? One twenty one mod ten. That is one, isn't it? Now reversed equals to reversed into ten. You can see, uh, simply see that earlier we have uh, we have uh, uh, assigned the reversed as a zero because initially we have assigned the reversed variable as a zero. So zero into ten plus remainder. What is the remainder? This one is the remainder. So plus one. This is nothing but one. So right now the value reversed. Right now the value reversed is having one. And n divide equals to ten. Its meaning is simple. N equals to n divided by ten. Now what is the value of n? The value of n right now is one twenty one. One twenty one divided by ten. What is the answer? It's twelve point one. But n is a very integer type. If it is integer type, this is going to be read as a twelve, isn't it? So, so the value of n is now changed, and the new value of n is twelve. Let me change the color so that you can understand it better now. Now, again, again, n does not equals to zero. It's true. N does not equals to zero because the value of n is twelve. You can see here, n does not equals to zero. So again, these three steps are going to repeat. Let me repeat it. N equals to n mod ten. Twelve mod ten. What should be the answer? Two. So the remainder is two. So the latest value of remainder is two. You can see here. Now reversed equals to reversed into ten. What is the value of reversed? We are having one. One multiply with ten plus remainder. What is the value of remainder? Two. So one into ten plus two. It's nothing but twelve. What is the value of twelve? Reversed. The latest value of reversed is twelve. Latest value of reversed is twelve. Thereafter, this this will work. N equals to n divided by ten. What is the value of n? Twelve. Twelve divided by ten. What is the value? One point two. That is nothing but one. That is nothing but one because it is of integer type. N is of integer type. So the latest value of n becomes one. Latest value of n becomes one. Let me change the color of pen again. Now, what is the value of n? One. One does not equals to zero. Again, if you are going to check this condition, again you are going to check the condition that uh, whether n is going to be zero or not here. So n does not equals to zero. Yes, n is not equals to zero. So again, these three steps is going to run. N modulus ten, one mod ten. What is the result of one mod ten? One mod ten is nothing but one, isn't it? One mod ten is one. Now if the value of remainder is one. Reversed equals to reversed into ten. What is the value of reversed? Twelve, isn't it? So twelve multiply with ten plus remainder. What is the value of remainder? One. Twelve times at one twenty plus one. That is nothing but one twenty one. What is the value one twenty one? Reversed. Latest value of reverse is one twenty one. N equals to n divided by ten. So n equals to n. What is the value of n? One. One divided by ten. That is zero point one. Now n is of integer type. Zero point one would be treated as zero. Now. Now. n does not equals to zero but it 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 is false why it is false because n is zero n is zero na so it is false so if it is false this three steps is not going to work anymore and the final value of reversed we got as a 121 now see here now see here the final value of uh, the final value of n we got as a the final value of uh, n we got as a 121 now Is original equals to equals to reverse? Yes, because the original value user entered, you can simply see, is one twenty one. The original value was one twenty one, and reverse is also one twenty one. That's why we can say it is true. If it is true, what it's going to print? Percent D is a palindrome. That is whatever number. That is one twenty one is a palindrome. That is original value is printed. But let's say user entered one twenty three or whatever, which is not palindrome, then. Original does not equals uh, original equals to equals to reverse would get false, and else statement is going to work, right? And thereafter, percent D is not a palindrome that is going to be printed. Let me run it. Let me run it. Palindrome dot C program. Let me go to my coding folder, and I am going to run this program in front of you so that whenever you are going to work, right, you can uh, you can uh, also get the same output. Okay, so this is my coding folder. Let me run it. the program name is palindrome dot c okay so i am running this program on command prompt let the command prompt should be open it's opening just a few second it's opening 
just few second yes kelindrom dot c right now it's compiling after compilation executable file will be generated uh, with the name a and uh, enter an integer let me enter an integer 1 2 3 4 5 i am printing i am pressed the uh, enter button 1 2 3 4 5 is not a palindrome you can see here let me run it again this is c palindrome and uh, it's again compile executable file and enter any integer let me enter 1 2 3 3 2 1 enter 1 2 3 3 2 1 is a palindrome right so this kind of output you are going to get in your screen so i hope whatever concept i i dealed here with the in the relation with the whether a number is palindrome or not how to write a code this is the way how, what is the exact logic and uh, how each and every line is going to work so this is how this program is going to run and you have to write it like i hope each and every step is crystal clear to everyone further anybody have any kind of doubt query please comment i will try to resolve them as early as possible from my side thank you so much have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat